Hey everyone, right here is a Casablanca Veranda ceiling fan from 1995 and uh, I'm going to oil the bearings on because as you can see, look at how it just moves so awkwardly. See that? So you need the bearings. And first thing I'm going to use is some WD-40 to free it up. And when I'm done with that, I will switch over to Zoom Spout on both sides. So right here, um, I'm going to show you how to oil it. You just kind of go through. These are a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you know, just, just put it right. I think I can just do it right there. See? See? Like that. And let me see if I can get it between. Right there. Notice how it freed up a little bit, it moves more freely. So here's a little bit of bearing noise, but but now we'll turn it over to the other side. As you know, at, look, it's a gunky mess. It's been hung outdoors, so just kind of go through these grooves right there. Just put it in there, that little straw, until it kind of doesn't really go down any further. You should only use WD-40 when it's gummed up really bad because WD-40 itself can just gum up the bearings because it's a detergent based oil and the zoom spout is the co-requisite. Here's a little bit of wet bearing noise but maybe similar for the zoom spout in there. Oops. It's a little bit awkward, but we'll deal with it. Put a little drops in that. I know I need to clean it off, but anyway. Okay, now we flipped it back to the other side. It already runs better, more freely, just like it should. And now let's give it a, give the fan a little drink, shall we? Let's do it here so you can see it better. Inject it with some of that. You just want to try to get between the uh, flywheel and the shaft. So that makes all the difference in the world. We could use a little bit more. There. Put some here too. It's kind of like it around. You hear like the wet bearing noise. I'll switch it around like that. It's like the, uh, I wonder if the WD-4 could actually restore the finish of this, because it's been hung outside. I'll have to test it to see if it works. So that's pretty much uh, how you do it in a nutshell. Put the zoom spout in there in those grooves. So, and I just showed you how to oil a K55 Casablanca type ceiling fan. Stay tuned for part two. Okay, here is part two of oiling the bearings of a Casablanca veranda. And as you can see, I have it set up on the uh, temporary uh, testing rig for motors only because the uh, 
blade span will just wouldn't do too well back here. But anyway, um, having a hard time figuring out which switch turns on the motor and which switch actually reverses the fan direction. Um, that's the unique thing about this uh, cast blanket model in particular is that there is no reverse switch on it. It just it's like these older pre-1997 Canadian fans that have the uh, reverse switch on the other side of the switch housing opposite the uh, main pole, change the turn, turns the fan on and off, changes the speed, etc. But let's have a look at the uh, cast blanket tag. It was made February 1995. Oh man, it brings me back to the sixth grade. And um, all right, let's just fire it up. So a little bearing noise. Okay, looks like it has some wet bearing noise, but. I'm not too concerned about that because this is an outdoor fan and I think really outdoor being hung outdoors it probably would not matter too much. But I'll just probably put more drops of zoom spout in as uh, time goes on because I think really that's what helped eliminate the noise and it's really come a long way since I got it and um, notice how it moves more freely and I always like to stri strike it like a rotary phone. Made all the difference in the world. Well, uh, I plan to get it hung this spring, so uh, in place of the uh, antique white Delta. So stay tuned, folks. Thank you for watching. More